Welcome users. In this content, you are going to learn the graphical designing method. Graphs are very essential to anyone's research. Study C and C. If your research includes a nice graph that would be helpful to the readers to grasp the enough data from your research. A good graph helps the readers to capture enough details rather than the crass tabulation and the lengthy descriptions. Many researchers are interested to include the nice graphs in their research, not only for the frequency and percentage counts, the probability related aspects can be easily traced with the help of the graphs. In this content, you are going to learn the graph designing techniques for the frequencies and the percentages. In my previous content, I have used some frequency data for calculating the row percent, column percent and total percent. The same data I have used in this content. To design the graph, I have used the open office spreadsheet. Let me explain how we can build a good and nice graphs for your research. You are watching the open office spreadsheet where you can find the data circulation section, visit frequency. Say I am going to design the graph for the frequency count. I select the bot chart. It gives you a lot of option to build your graphs. I fix the title for the graph. This option let you to enter the title and the subtitles also can be fixed. If you are interested, you can use all the option. Then X axis and Y axis titles also can be provided here. See, the nice bar chart is generated. The Monday to Friday frequency distribution has been used to generate the graph. Next I am designing the graph for row percent. I select the three dimension chart. The same steps you need to follow. Fix the title for your graph. It would be nice to use the short title for your graphs. Avoid to fix the lengthy title. The x axis and y axis also have been given. See, I have excluded the Friday action so as you are able to watch the four days free row percentage distribution. Just to differentiate the frequency graph and percentage graph, I have excluded the Friday action.
this one is a column percent again i select all the days monday to friday fix the title for this graph enter the subtitle as you did for the previous graphs enter the titles or uh, x axis and y axis see the features of spreadsheet help us to design our graph in a nice way the line graph is selected the axis and the percentage counts everything is neatly displayed see see transferring the graphs into the document also would be easy see three graphs i have generated bar chart for the frequency and row three dimension for row percent line graph for column percent now i opened the document using open office here give the headings for your document i have fixed the heading graphs under the graphs whatever you wish to enter you can render the titles just copy and paste the graphs see it has been neatly fixed the row percent need to be transferred now i give the heading for the row percent wise distribution just go right click copy then paste see observe the difference only four days i have included in this graph to differentiate from other graphs the first one shows all the days the second one shows four days see you can set the font and color everything select the header and you can fix the color and everything now i copy the column percent wise graph see the line graph is copied and paste it here it's a simple work but you must be very careful to select the axis while designing the graph the x axis and y axis need to be carefully identified the data selection is very important if you miss any one of the field it will be reflected in the graph output see in the line graph you can find all the days the same the first graph shows all the days you can fix the border for the graph like this see see we add some ingredients to the graphs it makes the graph looks like uh, it's beautiful see the fantastic graphs you have generated for your research you can use this kind of graph for your articles or any one of the research in film and phd scholars may use this kind of graphs to maintain the quality in the research see the graphs should not be ignored statisticians always insist the good graphs are essential it should play the major roles in anyone's research hope this would be helpful to you don't forget practice makes you the best wish you all the best